tell Ryan, how did you become involved in ballroom dancing? Well, Chuck, it was actually a very interesting situation. I didn't actually get involved in ballroom dancing uh, initially because I wanted to. It was actually more or less by accident. I was uh, dating a lady at the time, and we decided we wanted to try some different things. And so we decided to take a class together. Um, and we took the class, of course, and I realized how much fun it was. And what was even more interesting was that because of my background in music, uh, as well as, of course, in freestyle dancing and even my martial arts background, I actually picked up the steps very, very quickly. Uh, of course, I moved on um, and went into competing and also into performing. And, of course, from that point, I started working with different coaches. And uh, after competing for a couple of years, one coach I was working with, uh, I was with a new partner. We're trying to learn a new routine uh, for a new competition. And we were having a lot of trouble kind of picking the routine up and, and kind of working together. And so the coach said something that kind of really changed my life and the way that I actually view uh, ballroom dancing. He said to me, you know, the reason why you're having trouble is because you're actually not dancing with your partner. He says you're kind of dancing for yourself. You're kind of leaving her behind. He says you should never, ever leave behind your partner or outdance them. And that actually made me kind of really consider the whole purpose of dancing to begin with. Why do people actually dance together? Why do they enjoy it so much? It's because it's fun. It's not because you're competing or trying to perform. It's because they want to have fun together. So that really changed my way of looking at things. And when I opened my studios, this was the philosophy that I decided to adopt and kind of put into place for my own business. You know, we want to focus on having fun. Do we perform and do we compete? Sometimes, sure. But that's not really what it's all about. It's more about having fun together and enjoying the time you spend with your partner. And for couples, this is a very good time for them to have some intimate time together without the kids screaming in their ears, without having to worry about work. For individuals, it's a nice way for them to meet new people in a safe environment. And again, the social aspect comes out in what we do in this regard. We teach social dancing, specifically the art of social dancing, which goes back to, again, what we talked about before, the partnership, how to lead, how to follow, and more importantly, how to treat each other while you're on the dance floor together.